Sup, sup, everyone. It's really Timmy B, and welcome back to episode 14 of the Pokemon X and Y Randomized Versus with It's Really Timmy B and Jacknition right over there. Last episode, we got a couple of encounters. We are both in the Reflection Cave right now, but Jack, how are you doing today, my friend? And how about we hop into a team recap? All right. Well, I will start off with uh, your first question. Uh, I am doing very well. Uh, a little bit groggy this morning. Um, I'm kind of a little bit. I'm not tired because I've been. I I woke up like at two, three hours ago, but I'm still like. Ugh, I was so tired at work, and I'm sore because uh, I was helping my mom out because she just got out of surgery. But I'll talk about oh. that after. Uh, but yeah, uh, just a little bit groggy, but um. I'm doing good, but we'll start with a team recap, and I'm already on my first team member, so I guess I could start. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so our first mod on the team, the one that's holding all that luck with the luck incense, bringing us that money, is our boy Cryptic, the Dialga, with the ability Sturdy, with the Moon's Power Gem, Metal Claw, Ancient Power, and the newly learned Dragon Claw. Okay, uh, bringing those out those claws. We have our girl here, our Mega on the team, our Mega Garchomp, our Azura, with the ability Keen Eye with the move Sand Tomb, Bone Club, Dual Chop, and Dragon Rage. We have our boy here, the Inferno Man, the Entei, with the ability Flower Gift that boosts up our party mods in the sun. So, you know, it's party time in the summertime. Uh, we have the moves Bite, Bone Club, Ember, and Strength. We have our girl here, Sparky, the Electros, holding the dive ball with the ability Synchronize, uh, with the moves Acid, Crunch, Headbutt, and Discharge. And we have our boy here, Haynes, our MVP of the team still to this day. Uh, the Regigigas with the ability Poison Heal with the moves Revenge, Knock Off, Dizzy Punch, and Confuse Ray. And last but not least, our Speedy Boy, the Speedster. The extreme speed using demo, the Togekiss, with the ability Mummy, with the most air slash sky attack or spear, and like I said, extreme speed. But that's all on my side of the team. What's on yours, Amy? A great question, Jack. Well, you mentioned <sighs> the lucky one holding the luck incense, but my Ziggy mm. the Zygar is the lucky one because <laughs> he's holding the lucky egg yeah. with natural cure as the ability with the moves Dragon Breath, Bite, Safeguard, and Lance Rat. Mm. Next up, we got Victor the Volcarona with Storm Drain as the ability with the moves Ember, String Shot, Leech Life, and Gust. Next up, we got Zoe the Zangoose holding the Silk Scarf with Telepathy as the ability with Slash, Crunch, Strength, and Revenge. Next up, we got Houdini the Cadaver with Sand Force as the ability with Miracle Eye, Cut, Confusion, and Disable. Next up, we got Trent the Tentacruel with Lightning Rod as the ability with the moves Constrict, Acid, Toxic Spikes, and Bubble Beam. And Ooh. finally, we got Betty the Staraptor with Fur Coat. Aerial Lace, Endeavor, Quick Attack, and Wing Attack as the moves. And guys and gals, if that sounds like a great team to you guys, or if you like Jack's team a little bit better, make sure to hit that thumbs up button to like this video. And if you are new to the channel, welcome. I'm It's Really Timmy B. I make some great Pokemon videos and content. And uh, consider hitting subscribe if you want to support the channel beyond liking. And Jack, it is time for me to hit the timer. And three, two, one. One and we are off, oh. my friend. So uh, you 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 just mentioned it. You said you'll talk about it later. Uh, is is your mom okay? I, I know surgeries, you know, could be very serious. I want to make sure that Mama Jack is okay. She's uh she's doing she's sore right now because she she so she got her surgery uh, yesterday morning. Okay. And uh, no, not yesterday. Two days ago. She got it at 10 o'clock, and what she did was um, a lot of women do this uh, because sometimes their uh, chest area is a little bit too big, and it, it hurts their back, so she did go remove some of that weight there. And as you know, uh, it's a big surgery, and it just it messed her up a little bit because it was her first major surgery. Oh my god, no, no, okay. That What's didn't... up, my friend? Well, uh, I was fighting a, a Landorus on his uh, cool. on his different form, so it's like the tiger one, and 
I was with my Dialga and I was in the conversation, so was not paying attention that it was a ground type. So I just stayed in and it did bulldoze. I was like, oh my god, but it it only did like 20 damage. So it was like, okay, well, I guess it didn't do that much, but I'm going to switch off. But anyways, what I was saying was, uh, so she was sore because it was her first major like surgery. So the first day I had to take off of work because she could barely move. Uh, she couldn't get up if she sat down. She couldn't go to bed. She couldn't. She couldn't do anything. So my and my grandma lives with us as well, but um, she can't do anything. Like she can't lift my mom. She's like seventy two years old and she's half the size of my mom. So it was just like, well, I'll stay from work and I'll go help out. Uh, so I uh, I went to help her out, but my mom is still. Way bigger than me as well. I'm like 165 pounds. She's 220 pounds. So it's just trying to lift, lift her up dead weight was just hard on my back as well. And it was awkward to lift her up because I couldn't, I couldn't grab her by the summit. I couldn't grab her on the front part because uh -huh. of, her, of her cut. So it's just it was hard, man. It was hard and I felt so bad. But it, it, it messed me up because I stayed stiff for a long time. So my that's why I had a hard time with my neck yesterday. Uh, in the last episode, I mentioned that I had uh, my, 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 my neck hurt and stuff. But she's doing better. She's doing better. Good, good. Well, sending uh, well wishes to, to Mama Jack and, uh, you know, to, to you as well, my friend. Hopefully you can get better and, and you're not having mm – -hmm. Uh, some stiff necks or anything like that, but Mama Jack first, then. You. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, uh, and I'll let her know. Uh, a bunch of my friends as as well, uh, like my boy Derek and stuff, have been uh, sending her regards towards my mom, and she's been loving the the wholesome response for uh, from all of you. So I appreciate that, and she will love to hear that. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Timmy. Uh, Ooh, it's, okay, it's looking at my looking at my chandelier now because I made it to the Pokemon Center. Ooh. Uh, that yes. I caught in the next town. It has a very nice uh, number for special attack right now. Oh, really? It has Mega Launcher as the ability powers oh. up aura and pulse moves. Currently, don't have any, but you know there there's a chance we could have some. Yes, Small, that, that you can would be use very good. Flame Burst and Hex. Okay. 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 And my Benary has Poison Point as the ability, which is. Is actually, good. Yeah, it's pretty good. And dirt, maybe to allow frustration and quick attack. Might have to add Chandelure to the team, but I think uh, I think we're good for now. I think we're good for now. Okay. So I just noticed that my Citra is there's no music coming out on my Citra, so that's kind of that's kind of. I mean, it's not a big deal. You we usually use your audio, so it's not a big deal. But it's just. It, oh, oh, okay. So that's the girl that heals you. Ah. Yeah, they. Now, yeah. yeah, yeah. Now I understand. Like you talked to her and you're like, oh, you probably want to battle. And she was just like, now nah, let me heal up your Pokemon. And you're like, all right, cool. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what it was. I was just like, uh, let's get this battle done. But, anyways, yeah. So I'll have to, I'll have to check that because you said yesterday you had to re-download your Citra, didn't you? No, I when I got my new PC set up, I had to re-download okay. it then. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say, because it, it does it ask you to update Citra a lot? No, it it, it does here and there, but, I, you know, it's whatever. Okay, because it, it pretty much, it I don't know if, I don't know why, but it does that, like, every time I boot up Citra. Like, oh, there's a new update. Oh, there's a new update. It's just like, is there a new update every day? Like, what's going on? Like, I don't understand why, but. Yeah. Uh, I got another Obama Obama site. I I got one of those too. Um, I think an episode or two ago. Yeah, I, I guess I guess we're just prone uh, to get. I mean, I was it. thinking about it the other day too. Like when we were talking about the megas, like a mega Obama snow. Like I'd be down for that. I would be definitely down to have that. That is a powerful Pokemon, right well, there. Well, I mean, for the people that have not seen it. Uh, uh, quotes uh, uh, on the lost recordings. I did have an Obama, uh, uh, a Mega Obama site, and it was very, very useful and powerful. It's just very weak to fire. Very weak to fire. That's uh, fine. Just don't yeah, use yeah. it when when a fire type Pokemon comes out. <laughs> yeah. uh, but it just it happens randomly. Sometimes you're fighting a random mon that you would never expect to have a fire type move, and it just pops up with a fire type move. You know, yeah. like, um, I know some mods, okay, like a Blitzel. I know for, for like, 
experience that Blitzel and his uh, Zeb Striker does learn um, Flame Charge. And right. it's an electric type. And you would never think, oh, yeah, this random mon is going to have a, a, a fire type move. But it does. And I remember losing a uh, nice type to it. And I was like, why does it learn Flame Charge? Like, why? But, but it is really nice, though, in Gen 5 because it does it learns it, like, pretty early. So if you get a Blitzel early on, then, yeah. you know, it's it's very good to have. Yeah, it does. And it's, it's excellent I, type coverage. And I think it's a cool mon. And I, I was thinking about this last night because I was watching a, 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 um, an episode of uh, somebody else's versus. Right? Uh, uh, it wasn't a versus. They do, like, team battles and stuff. And uh, one of them uh, brought out a mon that I really like from Galar that I'm glad that they gave some love. And I wonder, I want to know what your opinion on it is. Uh, sure. What are your opinions on uh, uh, Galarian Corsola? Uh, you mean Corsola, the one that it yeah. evolves into? Yeah. Um, yeah. It's it, I, I'm, it's interesting that they decided that Corsola gets gets an evolution. I'll say that. I'll say that. Um, you, I mean, I don't know since I haven't played Sword and Shield, mm, can't really answer that mm. question. But I have used it a couple times in like Showdown or whatever. Mm. Um, it is. It is an interesting type, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, I'm kind of indifferent to it. I don't have like okay. a strong opinion about it. How about yourself? Well, it's just I, I've been starting. I didn't use it that much either. Like, I've used it in Showdown. I haven't used it in, because I have Shield, but I haven't used it in Shield at all. Mm -hmm. I just, every time I, I see it nowadays, like, more and more that I see it, the more I have appreciation for it because Corsola was a mod that I would have never used and probably will never use ever uh, right. because it's just like it doesn't have an evolution. I don't like his aesthetic at all. It's just it looks derpy. It's just like uh, But Corsola, on the other hand, I like the ghost type. I like, I don't know, I like his aesthetic more than the normal uh Corsola. And I'm glad I'm like happy that they actually gave it an evolution this time. You know what right. I mean? It looks it like it's interesting that they gave it an evolution. Like there's probably like dozens and dozens of Pokemon yeah. that I would much rather have oh, an yeah. evolution oh, yeah. than yeah. like Corsola of all Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I do a hundred percent sure agree with that. Uh but I just I feel like I feel like, okay, in Gen 4 when they gave evolutions, it's not as good as Gen 4 because in Gen 4 they gave evolutions to Mon that I actually like, like Magmar, uh, yeah. Electabuzz, like Ligar and them. I, th those were the Mons that I'm like, oh my god, yes, yes, daddy, yes. But uh, <laughs> uh, but I do agree, like, it's a random Mon to give it. Not everybody does like Corsola, but I think, like, eh, you know, it gave love to a random Mon. Another mod that I, I, I do like that they gave an evolution to is um, uh, Farfetch. Surfetch. I think Surfetch Oh, yeah. Surfetch so is cool. a very popular Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. So cool. And I haven't used one only in Showdown. It's very strong. Very, yeah. very strong. I think it's, it's cool. It's cool because did you ever uh, see the leaks of... Uh, the Gen 2 beta sprites? Uh, yes. Yes, I have, actually. Uh, so, they did have a beta version of... Um, a beta version of what Farfetch's evolution was supposed to be. And it's just completely different. Completely different. And I just... I feel like... I feel like... They did such a great job with the the way they went with with Surfetch compared to the beta version, because the beta right. version obviously it was in the past and it's been what like almost when was about twenty years? Yeah, almost twenty. Wow, I'm feeling old. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Oh my god, has it been twenty years? Oh my god, you guys don't judge us, okay? We're we're old farts, okay? <laughs> We're starting to be old farts right now. We're in mid twenties, 
going we're just to more experience. I mean, look at Pokemon. Like the higher the level, you know, the more powerful really? the Pokemon. So we're just at a higher level than than some other people. I mean, I mean, I don't picture myself uh, at a uh, hundred years old as strong as a uh, hundred level <laughs> like Dialga or something. But you know, I'll try my best. I'll I'll try to scream as loud as it. But you know, uh, but I I do agree. The more that you grow up, the more that you get mature. Well, some people, anyways. <laughs> Yeah, uh, <laughs> some people. Uh, but yeah, okay. So that's what you did. I know. I I feel like, I feel like they're doing a good job with the mon diversity, uh, giving them a Lola forms in a Lola. Ow! Oh! Oh! Since I mentioned that, so how was the stream last night? I did. I I did pop up a couple times, but uh, I couldn't stay. So did it go well? Timmy. Well, folks, it's uh, technical difficulties. I'm going to have to shut the call off and call again. <laughs> None right now. So oh, let's just oh. hop in. Check you there. Yeah, uh, you cut. Up. I was about to shut the call off and call you back, buddy. Cause, uh, well, I, don't worry. I, I covered it. I'm actually hopping into this battle with uh, Shauna or Serena right now. Let me actually double check her name. Serena. Yeah, yeah. Hopping Sh into that battle right now with her. So very pumped up. Um but you were saying something? You are about to ask a question or something like that? Okay, so, yeah. The question that I asked you was, um, because I mentioned Alola, because I like that they did so, uh, they're did so. they doing so good with uh, Ma and Diversity now and giving them, like, fo regional forms and stuff. And I think that's such a cool idea. And I mentioned uh, Alolan forms. And I was like, speaking of Alola, how did the stream go, buddy? Because I did pop up a couple times, but I couldn't stay, unfortunately. Uh, but I wanted That's fine. No, it went it went great. Um, we finally got we got basically through like all the long tutorial stuff yes. that Gen yes. Seven yes. really has, which yes. is one of the downsides of it, personally. Yeah, yeah. Um, it is. But it was great. It was a lot of fun. Um, we got some awesome Pokemon. We did actually get an Alolan Marowak, which I am a big Ooh, fan of using yes. it so far in this game. So definitely hyped for that and. Uh, can't wait for, for future streams. I mean, guys, if you are watching this and you are new to the channel, I do stream a little bit as well. Um, currently, we got a Pokemon Sun randomizer Nuzlocke happening right now. And it's my first time playing Gen 7, uh, first time to Alola, which is great. I'm, uh, I'm going to be wearing Hawaiian shirts, sunglasses. <laughs> We're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, bring your own sunscreen, though. B-Y-O-S, bring your own sunscreen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm keeping my own. Okay, you just uh, make sure to bring your own, and we'll be fine. We'll be fine. But that all right, we got a Deoxys on screen. Hey, -oh! hey, -oh! hey -oh! oh, you're gonna use knockoff. Oh, knockoff did a lot of damage. Oh, Yikes. well, as long as it didn't kill him on, I mean, it has not yet. It has not yet. I mean, I, I did struggle a little bit. I, I was thinking about that last night. I did struggle a little bit in the last episode when I was fighting that double battle uh, against uh, the Aveltal and the Mega Canvas gone. I was thinking about it. I'm glad that I didn't lose any Mon in that battle. Oh, now we're trying to double team right now? Okay, Deoxys. Okay. I see you. What? Just what? hit this crunch, though. We hit this crunch. Rap? Okay, that's fine. We can live with Rap. Just yeah, hit the yeah. crunch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what form are you fighting? Uh, a speed i think like the really skinny one well the attack form is pretty skinny as well i what okay if i look at them on a picture i can tell which is which but if i'm like when i try to think about it without seeing them it's kind of hard to know because the fighting and the skinny one do look pretty similar yeah am i right yeah i was either batting battling attack or speed but yeah. i took it out we did hit the crunch thank god Nice, nice, nice. I, I'm wondering, what are your thoughts about uh, Magneton? Uh, Magnazone, I'm, 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 I meant. I, I love it. I was actually talking about it uh, with a couple people in the comments because, unfortunately, in my heart gold randomized type lock, we did yes, have a Magneton. Yes. Unfortunately, uh, did not make it to Victory Road, died to a Dragonite with, a cup, with Bone Rush. Um, but I was saying that, like, somebody mentioned that he thinks Magneton is like a little bit underrated, and I kind of uh, like agree uh, with yeah. him. Yeah, same. Like I don't think, I think Magnezone isn't underrated, but I think Magneton is. But getting that evolution is huge. It's one of my favorite. And, and oh, Mega Abomas, 
Baba Snow speaking oh, back on my screen. <laughs> um, We're just being like psychic types here, talking about stuff, and it actually, uh, it actually appears. It's kind of. I know, but yeah, like like you were saying, I actually love Magneton, and I'm glad yeah. that they also gave him uh, an evolution in Gen Four. Like you were saying, like pretty much all of them in Gen Four that got evolutions, like Magnezone, Electivire, Magmortar, you know, Gliscor, even like a Frostlass too, like. All those are great in my book. Would be more than happy to have any one of them on my team. Yeah, I. That's why I said earlier. I think Gen Four did did it better. And I, I'm not saying I'm not I'm not like uh, disowning all the the new mons or the newer ones that they're doing. It's just I felt like Gen Four with the Gligar, the Mordar, the Magnazon, all the evolutions that they did made. We're all awesome. Yeah. There wasn't one that I didn't like. Compared to the newer gens, there are some that I'm like, yeah, I can live without, you know? But, oh well, you know, they're, they're tr like I said, they're trying to diverse their, uh, their, po their mon pool. Absolutely. And uh, I, 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 I'm all for it, you know? I'm all for it. Oh, man. I got, so I got out of that battle, fortunately. So uh, we're about, we're a little over halfway through the episode, but I'm just going to go and uh, battle the trainers. Because this gym, you do need to battle every single trainer. For the, I think there's only four. Do you? I don't. Uh, see, I remember. To, I'm pretty sure the layout of that gym is just you go upstairs, right? You just constantly go upstairs. Yeah, it's a, yeah. it's a, it's like a roller rink though. So yeah, yeah. you need to battle like all four trainers to like raise the, like raise the level of the, yeah, of, like where the gym leader yeah. is. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, I do yeah. that right now. What about yourself? How how are you doing in the cave right I'm, now? I'm I'm right at the, the exit. I'm pretty sure. I'm, oh, uh, perfect. I'm. Uh, oh, actually, hey, battle me. There we go. <laughs> I thought I was at the exit, but I might. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I I think I'm at the exit. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I guess not. I thought I was. Uh, well, actually, I think I am. If I go up these stairs, I'm pretty sure I'll see. Yeah. Okay, I see the exit. It's just there was a couple of other ways that I could go. I'm like, why are there so many? Right. Oh, okay. Glad I didn't go to, down to that slide because if I would have, I would have bat. I would have been at the not the beginning of the cave, but I would have been far again. I I hate when when you're going down a path because I tend to always do this. I check like every path before Same. I actually. And if continue. you like slip down or hop over a ledge or something, you just have to go all the way back and like do it again. Yeah. It's so annoying. And I tend to do that so much because yeah. of that like mentality of like, I need to check every way because I need to get all the items. And then I end up going too fast and bloop, well, I'm back at the beginning. Ha 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 ha. Funny me. Ha 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 ha. You know? Which, like, it, it's not terrible if you have, like, repels and stuff. But especially yeah. in caves, if you don't have repels and, in like, a normal world, you keep getting, like, spammed with Zubats or whatever. You're kind of like, oh, no, that was brutal. Yeah, yeah. I, I just feel it's terrible. I, I know I know, Game Freak's just doing that to troll. Or, yeah. well, to troll or just to be like, well, there's some people that might want to go back. But it's just like, who? Who would want to go back? We already, like, healed. We had, like, in this, like, in, for example, like, this cave. We already have a girl that healed us in the middle of the cave. And we only right. fought, like, two more trainers after that. So why would I want to go back, you know? Like, never mind about that little ledge. Just keep it to yourselves. And uh, like you said earlier, uh, you'll keep your sunscreen to yourself. And, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, hello there. Ooh. I'm so excited to see what our uh, okay. So did we we did mention this in the episode, or did we talk about this before the episode about the two static mons that we're gonna get? Yeah, dude, I'm pumped. Uh, we get uh, after we battle the gym leader, we get a free mega Pokemon, and then uh, shortly after, not only do we get Surf, but then um, we get we get another free Pokemon. Basically, this guy like in the next route, he's like, "Hey, I got this Lapras, but like." I have no use for it. Do you want it? And yeah. you're just kind of like, uh, yeah, I do actually. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's so, oh man, that that's the, right now. The only thing I'm thinking about and I'm looking forward to is, is those two statics, like the mega three mega. And then wait, it's a free mega, but do, okay. Yeah. I think the way it works is it's not going to stay as a mega, even if it's a randomized mod. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to have to like, you're going to have to mega evolve it, but right. 
for me, I guess it's not a big deal because I already have a permanent mega on the team. So, but it's like even even if you get something like like I was saying like an Obama Snow or like an Ampharos or or like whatever, it's like I'll, I'll take that on the team mega or not. The mega is just like an added bonus to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do agree on that one, buddy. All right. Um... Okay, I'm just gonna kill this last mod, and then I should be out of the cave. And I, I think we still have like five minutes to go, right? Roughly, yeah. So yeah. my plan was to just battle all the trainers, go heal up, and then start the next episode with the gym leader. Because I know if I hop into that battle, there's no way I'm gonna finish it in time. Yeah, yeah. I think by the time you're done all the the trainers in the gym. I'll be able to just like skim through all the town, go talk to all the beautiful people there, uh, tell them my name, and say like, "Hey, uh, it's nice to meet you. I'm I'm not breaking into your houses, but I right. am a, I am a ten year old just like walking in, uh, taking your items and stuff. Don't mind me." Uh, I always thought that was such a weird concept that you can just like pretty much break in into other people's houses and just be like, "Hey, oh, there's a pokeball there. Yeah, I'll take that." You know. Or it's like when you talk to somebody, it's kind of like, hey, you just broke into my house, but like, <laughs> here's a great ball. And I'm like, okay, cool, thanks. <laughs> yeah, it's so, I guess if you're a kid, you don't think about that. You're just like, yeah, oh yeah, I, I want to go in there. Oh, oh, they're giving me an item. But when you start getting older, it's just like, yeah, I'm a 10 year old, like just breaking in, sh shoving myself into everybody's house and just be like, hey, yeah, I want this. Bye. You know, just like, I don't know. It's It's weird to think about, but. Um, did you get rock climb? Okay, so you get a no. TM, you get a TM in the cave. What TM did you get? I got Sonic Boom. Oh, well, I guess, yeah, now it's not that viable. If it, you would have got it, like, at the start of the game, it would have been really good, but... Right. Right now, 20, uh, uh, a steady 20 damage is not that much. I no. got, I got rock climb, but I don't... Not bad for encounters, but... Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah... Actually, if you want to consider, like, just encounter-wise, it's pretty good. I got Rock Climb, but I don't think you can use Rock Climb in this gen. Can you? I don't know. I don't think so, actually. Oh, did you check the TMs that you can get um, in the Mart? Yeah, I didn't get anything too good. I think one of the only good ones was the one that was, like, $50,000. And I'm kind of like, ah, it's, I don't know if it was worth the money. Okay, the one that's $50,000 for me is, like, Tail Whip. So, the, yeah, yeah woo! Stay away. Woo. I got block. Ooh. I got I got noble roar. Okay. I have torrent fang, and I have crab hammer. Oh. So I'm probably gonna buy torrent fang because it's, it's initially like fire fang, thunder fang is just a water variant of it. So I'm probably gonna buy that. Uh, did you cut off again? Nope. Nope. Oh, I'm okay, here. Okay. I'm here. I wasn't just, sure. It's just you, you You stopped. I was like, uh, hello? Hello? Well, you also stopped. You were just like, I'm going to buy this. And I was <laughs> I, yeah, I, I was, I was focused on this battle right now. Uh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Torrent Fang, Torrent Fang. I don't know who I will be able to teach, but um, I'm going to have to actually buy... I'm going to actually buy uh, some Hyper Potions because I... I well, I ran out in the the cave. Well, not for hyper potions. I ran out of super potions. Uh, I know we can buy like hyper potions right now, but it's pretty expensive to buy hyper potions. So it's just right. like I'm buying super potions because it still works right now. But I'm pretty sure after in like when we get to the fourth gym, super potions won't do that much anymore because we're getting to the point where like. 50 HP is not going to be that much. So I yeah. think, I think no, that's I what, uh, that I think that's what a super potion heals, right? 50 HP or 60. Super potion does 50. 50 yeah. Right? yeah. Yeah. I was right. I was right. But I feel like super potions are still useful too. Like even if you get to like half health, it's always nice to just use a super potion instead of wasting like a hyper potion. Yeah. Yeah. I do agree with that. I always tend to have like, like lower tier potions in my inventory just just in case because like 
sometimes you get out of battle and you want to make sure you have like full HP, but you only have like 20, 50, uh, like 30 damage, and you, you're not gonna waste a uh, hyper potion on that. So, uh, so you got the intriguing stone, didn't you? I did. Yep, so, did all that. So, did you know the lore behind the intriguing stone? I did not. So if you look at it, if you look at it and you look at the coloration of the stone, from what I've heard, supposedly it was supposed to be like Pidgeot's Mega Stone or something like that. Oh, uh, okay. Because if you look at Pidgeot's stone, and I'm pretty sure the intriguing stone, they look pretty close. It's just the color pattern of the way it's looking is a little bit changed. I'm pretty sure. Don't at me on that, guys, because... I just heard about it. I'm not sure if it's actually true or not. But I remember hearing that the first time I was playing through Kalos. And I was like, hmm, that's kind of cool. You know, it's just another little tidbit that of stuff you don't know, right? Sometimes you get something in the game like uh, the strange souvenir. Uh, you get that. Uh, I'm pretty sure like I saw it in the Kalos region. And that was, if you look at it, it's a tiki doll. And tiki's right. are um, usually you see tiki idols and stuff like that in Hawaii, and that's based off uh, and Alola is based off Hawaii, so that's why there's a strange souvenir in the gen right before um, Sun and Moon. It was pretty much foreshadowing Sun and Moon, so it's kind of cool. I love I love stuff like that, yeah. little Easter eggs and foreshadowing stuff. It's just so cool. So I, I did go check the TMs again. One of the middle tier ones was Drill Run, a nice powerful ground move. So I did buy that, and my Staraptor was able to learn it. So taught it on the Staraptor. So that's going to be uh, pretty pretty decent. A nice little type coverage aside from my Ziggy the Zygarde. Um, so that is pretty hype, but we are pretty much almost at time, Jack. I'm just going to get to the gym leader. I am ready for that battle, and I think that's oh, time shoot, to, to shoot, end the episode shoot, when we get shoot, there. Shoot, shoot. Yeah, okay, so I will have to end off the episode during probably a battle because I don't want to continue the episode too far long because I'm probably going to have to fight because I went into the tower uh, to get the gym leader out of there and uh, I'm pretty sure this is where you fight Serena. Have you started the battle yet? Uh, well, I'm still in dialogue, but I I mean... I can you don't hop into the battle. You say... you like. Oh, okay, you okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Okay. I was so just let me know when you're done with the dialogue, and then uh, we can go ahead and end the episode. I guess I can start the outro now, if that's fine with you. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. Awesome. Like, well, well guys and gals, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, hit that thumbs up button to like this video. And if you are new to my channel, welcome again. I'm It's Really Timmy B. Hope you enjoyed that episode. And if you want to support the channel beyond liking this video, also consider hitting subscribe as well. Go check out my man, Jack Nishins. Uh, I'm going to be battling the gym leader tomorrow on his channel. So make sure you go like, comment, and subscribe on his channel as well. Um, Jack, are you ready to close out? Or are you still in dialogue, my friend? Oh, no. I'm done with the dialogue, and I, I'm ready to end off. So, guys, like he said, don't forget to go on both channels if you want to keep in touch with the series and see where we're going and where we're heading in the Kalos region. Make sure to watch every episode. And, yeah. I'm glad to see you here and hopefully to see you on my channel tomorrow. Awesome, guys. Well, it's really to me telling you to have a great day and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.